Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. We will now discuss logical functions, which you can use to perform logical tests on the values in cells and then return a result based on whether or not the value in the cell passes or fails the test. Logical formulas take the form of an if-then-else statement. You must know at least three different arguments before you can write a logical function. The logical test that you want to apply, the cell value or formula to apply if the test returns a true value, and the cell value or formula to apply if the test returns a false value. When you write logical functions, they must have a certain syntax. That is, they start with equals if, and then in parentheses, the first argument is the logical test, then a comma, and then the value to display if it's true, and the value to display if it's false. Note that if you want the formula to display a text response for the true response or the false response, then you must ensure that you place the response that you would like to display inside of double quotation marks when you're writing the formula. If you want to display dates, dates must be enclosed within pound signs. The only time that you wouldn't mark the type of value to return is if you want the cell to display a numerical result or calculate a formula. So in the worksheet you can see we have a simple formula entered here. It says equals if a10 equals the value of north and is a text value. And if that's true then this cell should display the text value of true. And if that's false then the cell should display the text value of false. So we can see that this says true. However, if we change a10's value to something else, now that should read false. Note that if you want the formula to have another test that it runs after the first test, in case the first test fails. Then you have a few options as to how you want to run the additional tests. One way to do that is to create additional nested logical functions. And a nested logical function is one that places the cell through a second logical test if it fails the first test. So these functions are useful for determining the value of a cell by placing it through several tests. Displaying different results based on which test it passes. You can nest up to 64 additional if statements behind your original, and the syntax is basically the same. You start off with equals if, and then your cell test to evaluate. Then you have your true response. However, if the value is not true, then you immediately follow with another if statement, and then the next logical value, and then the value if that's true. And if that's not true, then the false value becomes another if statement. And you can continue that on. Once again, you can nest up to 64 additional if statements behind your original one. Always remember that at the very end, you must have the exact same number of closing parentheses as you do if statements. So in our spreadsheet here, we have a formula that looks to see if C2 is equal to I2. And if it is, then it multiplies the monthly sales times the percent commission that's associated. However, if C2 is equal to I3, then it uses that percent commission. If it's equal to I4, it uses that percent commission. Otherwise, it just simply states that the incorrect city must have been entered. Now, often, you may want to know if a cell meets multiple criteria simultaneously. In this case, you can use the AND and OR functions to find this out. Now, the AND function will return a true value if the cell that's being evaluated passes all of the tests listed after the AND function. The OR function will return a true value if the cell being evaluated passes any of the logical tests that follow the OR function. Note that you can evaluate up to 255 different logical tests after the AND and OR statements. So when you look at how you can combine these tests with the IF function or with many nested IF functions, you can begin to see how you can start to become a very powerful formula creator. 
Now you can run cells through a battery of tests and then decide what function to perform or value to display based on the results shown from the test. Now the general syntax when combining the if function with the and and or functions is shown in this cell. So you put in equals if parenthesis and then either and or or. Then inside of another set of parentheses you list each of the tests separated with a comma. And remember you can have up to 255 logical tests after the and or or. Unlike the other if statements you then close the and or or statement off with a parenthesis and then you input the value if true and the value if false. And so if it passes in this case both A10 equals north and C10 equals Lansing then it would return true otherwise it returns false. And if we had an or condition it could meet either logical test to get the true value. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!